I'm good now. For a while, I wasn't, but I'm straightening out, trying to get my shit together. My friends were like, yo, where you been? I had missed school. I, I missed a band competition. I just told them I had a bad case of strep, you know? It's like I didn't want to share one of my weaker moments with them. Please. To graduate high school, you have to pass pool. You have to put on a school bathing suit and prove you can swim. So one day after pool, I'm in a locker room. And I hate the locker room. Everyone acts like a fucking dick in there, more so than anywhere else in my opinion. There's always got to be guys fucking whipping each other with wet towels and all jacked up, ready to throw down, like right then and there, near the showers. <laughs> Whatever. So one day I'm in the locker room, and this guy named Raymond, who everyone thinks is the fucking man, you know, he's walking down the halls, banging on lockers, roughing people up, talking shit about girls. He's that guy. He comes over to me, rips my towel off, and goes, yo, look at little dick. And that was it. And I was trying to get my clothes in. All these guys are just fucking dying, like, little dick, little dick. What can you fuck with that little dick, man? Look. I'm a black man, and as a black man, this is not what I want to hear. <laughs> this is not supposed to be my reality. I got these five foot three little white dudes in my gym class calling me little dick. <laughs> Fuck that. I was crashing, man. Like, I was pretty much destroyed, and there was no doubt in my mind that that shit was going to get around. When I went home, my older brother JR, he still lives with us. He goes, yo, what's your deal, man? And I told him, which was a big mistake. He thought it was fucking hilarious. And then he told my dad, and that man, he whooped my ass hard. He said, you need to learn how to man up. Men don't let people talk down to them that way. You let those kids belittle you when you did nothing. He's like spitting in my face. He's like, you need to learn how to man the fuck up. Actually, he didn't say fuck. My dad does a curse, so whatever. I was just feeling bad. Like, I can't explain it. It was just bad in that moment. It's like, I don't play sports, and I don't kick it to lots of girls, usually. And I definitely don't beat people up. And my dad thinks I'm some sort of fucking pussy. I was on the ground that night. I never felt that way before. So I went to the bathroom and I took a shitload of pills. Anything I could get my hands on, Sudafed, ibuprofen, Tylenol, my little brother's Ritalin, handfuls of pills. And I passed out. And that was it. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. My parents were worried, but pissed. I would never tell anybody about that day. No, I'm actually fucking ashamed of that day. Put my parents through that, and I wasn't even trying to kill myself. I was just losing it, is all. And I think I was acting like a scared little kid that day. And I don't like what my dad did, but he was looking out. Look, I'm a man, and I deserve respect, and I was not respected that day in the locker room. And I'm not having that, you know? I'm not riding that train. I'm gonna get mine, you know?